a thousand miles from Delhi, Kolkata. Look at this. A frighteningly busy market in a region where COVID has surged nearly 80 times in the past two months. People here are scared, but they have to work to eat. And this is the cost. In the entrance of a public hospital nearby, people are already struggling to get basic care. All the beds here, hundreds, are already full. And the sick keep coming. I don't know how long we can continue like this, says Dr. Kuldeep Botabyal. Even a war comes to an end, but here it's wave after wave. One in six people in the world live in India. And Kolkata is among its most densely populated cities. Covid has reached places where families live together in one-room homes. Distancing is impossible. Amit and Aarti Parshad's 63-year-old father died of Covid. They spent the only money they had to try to save him. As it spreads unchecked, the virus is taking on new, more worrying forms. The highly infectious variant that's spreading through India has now reached more than 40 countries around the world, including the UK. This is not an Indian problem. What's happening here could affect the world's ability to recover from the pandemic. I spoke to Dr. Soumya Swaminathan, the World Health Organization's chief scientist. Why should the world care about what's happening in India right now? This virus does not respect borders. It doesn't respect nationalities. It spreads before you know that it is spreading. If the virus keeps on replicating and, uh, and uh, multiplying, the number of variants is going to keep increasing and these variants will ultimately spread across the world. We will not be able to stop that from happening. The only way out is to immunize this vast population. But vaccine supply is critically low. This country will need billions of doses. It's hard to see how it can do it alone. Yogadalamai, BBC News, Kolkata.